we're talking about drawing and it and I say objects but what I really mean is is anything and um, we're talking about giving objects or anything that you're drawing a certain amount of character right um, and character doesn't necessarily mean that you stylize or draw something um, poorly it doesn't necessarily mean that you overdo things, um, exaggerate, go kind of like go off script, you know, make something curved. You can do this, you can do that, sure, but you can also do it through realistic drawing and through um, sort of like close observation. Um, and I want to start really simply with a, with a box, you know. This is a pretty solid box form just on its own. Um, it works, but the box that I have in front of me does have a little bit of character to it. And I can explore that through close observation because, well, for one thing, it has a lid. So I can really quickly and easily, you know, add a lid to it. And that, just by doing that, that breaks up the contour right up here and right up here and right up here too so that it doesn't um, have this kind of like perfect thing going on. It changes a little bit. Um, so I've broken up the contour and, and everything. Um, I can change its relationship to the ground because it's kind of like bent in a little bit. So I can round that out. And so on. Um, I can make sure that this box corner kind of turns slowly-ish with a little bit of mass and tone and I can kind of it's got a little fold so if you look at if you look at the lid like as a, as a cross section the lid kind of has this little 45 degree angle thing to it right where it goes over so if I'm looking at it from the side I have that little angle so that means um, if I look at that corner, right, the corner is not just a simple corner like that. The corner has a little angle to it, right? And as it goes around in space, I can kind of change that. Now, if I get really complicated, the corner looks more like this, right? Because I'm kind of turning that 45 degree angle both from the top. So if I look at it from the top, it's not a simple corner like this. It's kind of like cut off and doubled up a little bit. So I can create that structure pretty readily, right? So I can come back here and I can build that into my, into the box that I'm drawing. I can exaggerate it, right? And make that structure a little bit bigger so that it's clear. Cool. So that gives the lid like an extreme amount of character, right? Um, then I can come down and this thing's kind of like covered with paper and I see like right down here that there's a little bit of paper that's kind of peeled up. So I could find that seam of paper, run it down like and make exaggerate the peel as it goes around in space and give it a little bit of like shadow tone inside there. Maybe I could do that in a couple of places and kind of make it imperfect and kind of busted and broken. Um, Another thing that I can do uh, before I even really work into too much value is kind of um, look for those dents in the contour. And, um, you know, if I have control of the object, I could do things like, um, you know, move the lid and put the lid over, um, like off, off the top a little bit so that it gets a little more character, right? But for now, I'm not going to do that. So this is a quick way to do it with line, and then I can go in with tone, right? Start to add 
character with tone, right? As the lid casts a shadow. Pretty simple stuff, right? I can go in on the ground, add tone there too. And this is without really like rendering a box in like a normal way. But if I have, if I have my choice, I'm gonna do something more interesting with it. Like I'm gonna take the box lid and tilt it off so that it's like immediately more interesting, right? Because I just I just don't want things to be like super boring and, and annoying to draw. Um, and by the time you can you've mastered like drawing a box, you're probably just gonna like get bored with drawing super solid boxes in the same way every single time, right? So some of this is like you know fighting your own boredom with the subject, and some of it is like fighting with the boredom of whoever's looking at your at your pieces, whether it's like um, an audience um, for like an animation or whatever, like. You just don't want it to be like drab, right? I can play around with the size of this. And then I've got this um, box lid, which is kind of tilted and, and overlapping right now. So what I'm gonna do is take the front plane of it and make it overlap, right? So it's overlapping this corner here, right? What I don't want to do is align it. Like if this were over here and this point connected, like if the corner was here and I put the box like right here, the lid and send it this way, like that would look really bad because this intersection creates a little tangent and it kills depth. So if I overlap there, it doesn't kill depth. Now I've, because I've tilted this box, it's going at a totally different angle than everything else. And so I just kind of have to like run with that and track it out in space. Make sure that when I draw this box lid, that it's solid in and of itself. Even if it is a little bit wonky, that's okay. Because what I'm losing in accuracy, I'm gaining in interest, right? What's cool about doing objects with like a certain amount of character to it is you don't have to be like the best at this, like, or at drawing realistically, like, cause this works regardless. So I can immediately work into tone and kind of show how that's going. There's a shadow in here cast by this object. And inside the box, there's a little bit of detail too. Cool. So like that kind of thing immediately adds character to the box. And then I can do, you know, my normal things like bumping up line work to it. I can readjust and kind of double up those angles, round out corners, and so on. Make the box seem a little bit beat up and more interesting. And I can do things like just give some tone to the sides, differentiate some dimensionality with it. Can soften up some shadow and so on. So that's simple stuff to give, like, to give character to an object. And, um, you know, I think it's good to start simple like this, you know, and um, work with basic objects and see what you can do to make it make it more interesting for yourself and um, for others to, to look at. Um, we're going to talk about um, some other concepts in terms of, um, so this is basically what I think of as, like, working on, like, details and arrangement of objects 
So that's like actually picking up on the physical, real circumstances of stuff. Um, there's other ways to do it too, um, and we'll talk about those in further video.